Hello everyone. I am Harshita, and today we are going to discuss about the topic standard or memo lines and receivable activity in the accounts receivable. Standard or memo lines. What happens is when we create a auto accounting rule for the revenue account type in the application, then under the value source, one of the source available is memo line. So it is available only for the revenue account type. We can give a value source memo line. So this is one of the use for which we can create a standard or memo lines in the application. We will see how to create this memo lines. But before that, we are going to discuss one more concept of the receivable activity. What happens in the account receivable application is accounting combination or information is fetched from receivable activity. Here we can create as many receivable activity as it is required by the business like miscellaneous receipt, finance charge, charge back and adjustment transaction. These are example of the receivable activity which you create in the instance. And when we define activity, it appears as a list of value choices in the receipt and adjustment transaction. So this is the receivable activity. Now we will move to the application and see how to prepare the standard or memo lines and the receivable activity in the application. So moving to the application. Now to create memo line, give here under task as memo line. Manage standard memo lines. Manage standard memo lines, go to task. To create a new memo line, just click on this add icon. Give your memo line set. It is nothing but the reference data set. Fine. Now give the name of your memo line, like I'm giving here as fusion memo line. and giving the same description as the name. Type, you can select it as chargeback, charges, freight, line, debit, memo, reversal, or tax. Here, I'm going to select line only. Now, go to this reference account. Here, you can see that add icon. Just click on this add icon and give your business account. Sorry, business unit here. Minus US1 business unit. Now, attach your revenue account here. Let's go to accounts and give a revenue account. Fine. For now, I'm giving this revenue domestic. Fine. You just need to map a revenue account here. And say OK. Fine, so this is how you can create a memo line in the instance. You just need to go to standard memo line creation and map your reference data set, give a name to your memo line and give your business unit and attach a or map a revenue account here. And in this manner, you are ready with your standard memo line in the application. So after giving all the details, just go to save and close and save it. Fine, so this is how you can create a standard memo line. And now we will move to Receivable activity. How you can create a receivable activity? First, we need to search here as receivable activity. Manage receivable activity is coming. Just click on it. Manage receivable activity, go to task. Now, give your business unit here. Say OK and search. Under this business unit, the receivable activity which has been already created is coming here. 
you can see that if you want to create new receivable activity just click on this add icon your business unit here give name to your receivable activity like i'm creating miscellaneous revenue fine give activity type as miscellaneous cash gl account source activity gl account tax rate i'm giving none here and mapping the miscellaneous account revenue miscellaneous say okay okay Fine. So this is how you can create a receivable activity after giving all this mandatory items or mandatory fields. You can just go to save and close and save it. So this is how you can create a receivable activity in the instance. So this was all about the topic. Thank you.